Hey everyone, welcome in a new episode of my week. This week, uh, the week started out with the hardware event of Google and they officially launched the Google Home. So you know, the competitor of Amazon Echo and they're gonna go under the price of Amazon. And uh, I think this may be the first time that Google really has to catch up with something because uh, a lot of people believe, uh, and I'm really a believer of that, that those uh, devices that we're gonna put in our living room, like Google Home or Amazon Echo, may replace the current search model. So it's really important for Google to stay ahead in this market and now they have to catch up. So I think they're really, really gonna do whatever they can to push this into our households as soon as they can. They made different designs. Uh, they're gonna push a lot of applications. So it looks really nice. That wasn't the only news from Google uh, at that conference. No, they also launched um, a new smartphone, the Pixel, and this is an head-on attack on Apple and Samsung. So this is actually the first time that Google is going full force into the smartphone market with an, uh, a device that is comparable with the top uh, devices of Amazon and Apple. So interesting to see how this will evolve. More news, news from Google. It's a really a Google week this week. Um, they launched a new VR headset, it's called Daydream and it's gonna go beyond what we've seen so far because it's gonna show uh, TV shows and movies from Netflix and HBO. So we're gonna be able to watch those with those funky VR glasses that Google just released. Facebook is also moving into a new phase. Um, they're gonna launch Marketplace, which is a head-on competitor of companies like eBay, where they will allow their 1.7 billion people to sell and buy products from one another. I just want to come back to the Facebook Marketplace that was launched this week. Well, it also closed down this week because people were selling guns and drugs and body parts and even babies. And the Facebook algorithm, the AI part of Facebook to solve all these things automatically is not working yet. So they had to close down that new marketplace and we will see when it will open up again. So even at Facebook, AI doesn't really work perfect yet. So there's hope for many of us. Toyota is uh, launching a buddy robot and it's gonna cost about $400. Um, they're gonna launch this first in Japan because in Japan they have a population that is getting older and older and a lot of people are living by themselves and are getting lonely. So they wanna introduce this buddy robot that could become a friend of someone that's living by himself and it's only gonna cost like $400. And this is, uh, let's say, a, a project that they're backing up and it's based on the robot that they used to send to space a few years ago but that they're now gonna make for uh, the mainstream market. MasterCard is bringing the um, selfie payment system to Europe. They've been using it in Canada and it allows you to pay with your MasterCard by taking a selfie of yourself, obviously, and through face recognition, they will allow or disallow the payment. So an easier way to pay with credit cards will be live in Europe soon. The battle for the AI personal assistant is really going wild. Uh, this week Google really launched its Google Assistant, but there was more news. Samsung bought Viv, and Viv is a company that was created by the creators of Siri, and they uh, claim that Viv is like an, an optimized version of Siri, and now Samsung owns it, and there were rumors that both um, uh, Google and Facebook wanted to buy it, but Samsung really got it, so really looking forward to see Viv in action real soon. News about Netflix. Netflix is going to start by making movies that will be broadcasted not just on Netflix but also in the movie theater. So they're really becoming a real big content producer in the world. The movements that I talked about in my video, the future of Facebook, uh, they're happening. Uh, Facebook allows people that want to connect their e-commerce module to Messenger so you can actually buy stuff through Messenger and actually do the payment in Messenger. So they're moving forward to this. Um, they're doing what WeChat has been doing for years in China. And this is a step forward for Facebook to become not just the social media of the world, but the operating system of the world. Okay, guys, this is it. Thanks for watching this uh, new episode of My Week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will enjoy the weekend. Have fun and see you next week. Bye-bye.